Welcome back to TW 2016. I'm here once again with my Impact Rising save. We are going in. We are now going in the build up of um, to Bound for Glory. So let's start the build. All right, Devitt kicks off Impact. He says, "Kenny Omega, I must say I'm impressed. You won something without the Young Bucks or the Bullet Club around to cheer you on. But I have no illusions that they'll stay away at Bound for Glory. But I will come out later tonight to call you out without Bullet Club." Just you and me in the ring. Show up alone if you dare. Samoa Joe makes a big entrance and has a decent match with Magnus for the television championship. He defends the title. Makes defense number one of his championship. And Joe is celebrating the ring when the... Um, what? I can't remember their team name. The Forgotten, that's them. Attack Joe and leave him laying out. And Storm poses above him with the championship. So Storm makes it clear he wants the title. A good promo from Beretta. I really did not expect nothing from this. Anyway, Beretta says, Last night I achieved something I didn't think I could when I first signed with Impact Wrestling. And that is to be a singles champion. When I came in with Rocky, I thought my biggest accomplishment in this company would be the tag team championships. But now, not only am I the exhibition champion, but next, if Rocky Romero wins his number one contenders triple threat match, we may face each other at Impact's biggest show of the year, Bound for Glory. And then in a decent triple threat match, Rey Mysterio defeated Rocky Romero and Zack Sabre Jr. When Rey defeated Rocky Romero with a 619, Rey wins the match. Um, good match, good match. And then he gets on the mic afterwards and says, Beretta, earlier you talked about wanting to face Rocky at Bound for Glory. Well, now you're facing me. And Beretta, you need to bring your A game. Otherwise, I'll be your new X Division champion. Um, just a backstage... Assault. I knew this was, wasn't was going to do good. Anyway, Brooke attacks Candice LeRae. All right. Nick Crash in a, just a random match just to get the Crash on TV. He beats Jay Lethal. Not, yeah. All right, after that. The Kings are wrestling in backstage for the number one, the tag team number one contenders match. And Castagnoli says, when we won these titles, we made a promise to each other that we will take on and defeat all comers. Hero then says, those four teams are all good, but they are not kings. And Castagnoli ends it says, we are kings. And in a not such a great match, decent wrestling, not much of the way. The Forgotten defeated Zero Tolerance, Red Alert, and Red Dragon. And the order elimination was Zero Tolerance first, then Red Dragon, then Red Alert. Um, eh. All right, good main of good wrestling main event, and about that had great wrestling and good heat. Drew Galloway defeated El Alberto El Patron, um, and then he gets on the mic and says, "Last night I wasn't able to win the Bound for Glory series, but at least I made it to last night. Unlike a certain Olympic gold medalist, so Kurt Angle, I want to prove myself. So I'm challenging you to a match at Bound for Glory." Kurt comes out and he says, "I haven't been on a roll as of late." I haven't had a big win in quite a while. So, Galloway, I will face you. But if I can't win, I'll retire from active in-ring competition. So, Kurt puts an ultimatum on himself for Bound for Glory. All right. I was kind of hoping for better from this. Anyway, Devin makes his way to the ring. He says, Kenny, you heard what I had to say earlier, so come on out. Omega's music hits. He comes out to the ring. Omega then grabs a mic and says, you got me wrong, man. When you were with the Bullet Club, you used them to help you. When AJ took control of the club, he used Bullet Club to help him. But if you look at all my major matches since I've taken over, yeah, the Young Bucks may be out there, but they don't get involved because I don't. I know I don't need them. And if I use them, no one would believe that I'm that great. I asked the Bucks and the rest of Bullet Club to stay away from Impact until after Bound for Glory because I don't need them. And I want everyone to know that. Devitt, win, lose, or draw, I'll know I did myself. I'll, I'll did it by myself. And I'll know I did it. I did my best. And no one will ever be able to say otherwise. Kenny leaves, and Devitt Lee is speechless to end the show. And the show gets a 81. So a good, good impact. I, to be honest, I haven't recorded any impact in, like, a m of this series in, like, almost a month. Because I just recorded, like, all 30-something episodes at one d during the course of, like, two or three days. So, it took a little bit for me to get back into this again. Mainly because I hadn't booked it for so long. But, 
Anyways, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much again. I will see you guys next time.